I cut my wife off from our finances because she wouldn't stop ordering takeout. Nine days ago, I made a post about how my unemployed wife had spent $1,176 on delivery apps in just a month. This is egregiously outside of what we can afford to spend on takeout. And since she didn't seem willing to stop, I canceled our credit card and moved the money from our joint account into my own. For the following few days, my wife kept talking about how I was financially abusing her. She threw several tantrums despite apparently being severely malnourished, threatened divorce, threw a bunch of the food we had in the fridge away to try and strong arm me into letting her get takeout, and even tried to guess my bank account password a bunch of times. Sorry, my password isn't Taco Bell 123. That last one was how I learned... If you try to guess someone's bank account password enough times, the bank will send them an automated email. But last Friday, the complaints and threats stopped. She seemed mostly back to normal. I figured she had given up. That was until today, which was garbage day. When I took the last bag out before taking the bin down to the curb, I discovered half a dozen fast food bags and other takeout containers in it. My wife wasn't supposed to have access to money. I had no idea how she was affording the food. I confronted her about it, and first she denied everything. I had to bring all of her fast food garbage in to get her to fess up. She had taken out a loan. Now I thought that she had borrowed money from a friend or family member. But she had taken out one of those predatory payday loans. Before you ask, no, I have no idea how she was approved. Within the next hour, I froze my credit. I then drove her to the payday loan place, where I paid the loan off in cash. I will now have to dip further into my savings to pay the rent. I suppose in a certain way, cutting her off was successful. She didn't order takeout anymore. She just drove to the restaurants to pick up her food for the low, low price of $20 for every $100 she borrowed or $60 in fees in total. In addition, I told her that we would be getting divorced. So, yeah. My marriage is over. I don't even know what alimony laws in my state are like, but I assume she'll happily live in a cardboard box under a bridge if Uber Eats will bring her food there.